Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Vocal Writer plugin from Waves. I have a project here. It's completely unmixed, um, and I'm going to use it as an example. Uh, take a listen to it. Okay, nothing too crazy. I have some vocals here. So normally, normally to automate your vocals, you would go here to automation and go to your volume and you would find whatever words are a little quiet and uh, adjust them, bring them up, bring them down. Maybe that one's a little low. Maybe the section's a little loud and you want to bring it down. And maybe this end of this word is a little quiet, so you want to bring it back up and uh, the whole thing can take a lot of time. Um, but the Vocal Writer plugin makes it so that instead of doing all of this kind of thing, it'll do it for you. Um, I'm going to show you a way to do it today where uh, it gets you to a starting point and then you can tweak it and fine tune it to be exactly how you want it. So, first, let's go to the vocal track. And let's stick the Vocal Rider plugin on there. So waves go all the way down to V. And Vocal Rider, this is not a plugin that comes with Logic, so you'll have to download or buy it separately. Um, so here is the plugin. And when it starts up, um, this will be the default settings. This represents where it is putting your uh, vocal level at. This is the range of how loud and how uh, quiet you're going to allow the plugin to adjust the vocal. Um, this is how responsive it is. Slow is going to be more natural. I usually use slow. Fast is going to uh, respond quicker to changes in the in the dynamics of the vocal track. Um, and this is going to be your output level. So if you want it to sit higher in the mix, you'll bring that up. Sit lower in the mix, you'll bring that down. Um, and so, and uh, so this plugin looks at both your vocal track and the rest of your audio tracks um, and to take into consideration before making adjustments. So once you've put it on your vocal track, you need to send the rest of your audio tracks into the plugin. How do you do that? Well, a bus. So you select all of these. I just held down shift to select them at once and I'm going to go send bus and pick one that you're not using. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's not in use. All right. So now I'm sending all these tracks to bus one, and I'm making bus one the side chain here. Boom. Okie dokie. So now when we push play, you'll see the plugin starts working right away. bringing up the vocals when she's singing. This indicator, this indicator is um, how much of the backing track uh, is, is being detected by the plugin. So right now it's full green and this is not a loud part of the song. So that is a sign that we have the sensitivity too high. So I'm going to bring that down. You want this to be almost uh, off during the quiet parts of the song and very, very green during the uh, loud parts. Alright. So for maybe for a pop track you would want to bring this up and have it really sit on top of the, the mix, um, but for other styles of music you might want to bring it down. And of course, the number you go to, I can't tell you what that's going to be because that's going to be relative to um, the levels in your individual project. Uh, because I haven't mixed this, these are all set louder than I, I usually have them at, but um, I think that's fine for this example. So. Now I'm going to show you how you can customize it because right now, you know, it can sound pretty good But maybe you want to be able to make a few words a little louder a few a little quieter Maybe during this loud section 
Maybe it's bringing her down a little more than you would choose to. Um, so what I would say to do is write some automation. You go here to the automation section, select write, and also over here to automation for, make sure you're on the selected, um, make sure you're on your vocal track. I almost was, <coughs> excuse me, I was almost on the wrong track there. Um, and you're going to select write. Okay, okay. Now you're writing automation. If you want to see what you're writing, you can press A or select this here. And there is the beautiful automation data coming out of this plugin. You can see when she's not singing, it's going back to the target point, which is this red line. You can move it by grabbing this. That's where it's going to sit when it's not doing anything. Um, or at least try to, if it has time to get there. You can see this is a, a hard line here, because that's where it reached the top of the range. Okay, not gonna do the whole, not gonna do the whole song, because who has time for that? Okay, so we'll go in here, and now that you have this automation data, you can switch this to read, you can switch this to read as well. And now this plugin is no longer listening to the track. It is just reading what it has written and doing the same thing again. And that means that if you do not agree with some of the decisions that this plugin has made, you can go in here and take any of these points or any sections of this and make them quieter or make them louder. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. You can grab uh, the pencil tool and just completely rewrite it if you want. All right, so I think that's giving you a good idea of what this plugin does. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm pretty new to making these videos, so there's a good chance I'll completely remake this video again soon uh, in a way that's clearer based on your feedback. So please, please, please let me know anything that would be helpful to you. Um, and I hope this plugin will save you a lot of time. All right, goodbye.